Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we've got a pretty exciting episode because we are looking ahead to the month of August. We break down everything you need to know, including a brand new seasonal event and a brand new item, updates to holidays, and of course the changes to weather phenomena that we can expect to see and much more. I'm sure you're going to like it. If you do, be sure to like this video. As always, I know your time is precious, so please subscribe and let's jump straight into it. Number one, Tomato Festival. So this is probably the most exciting update for August, especially if you've been playing for a while. This is because a brand new seasonal event called the Tomato Festival takes place and is debuting for the first time in the entire franchise in August 2022. This wasn't even available last year. From August 20th and running through to August 31st, we celebrate the Tomato Festival and in honor of the real world event, we can order the long awaited Tomato Festival tea which I think we can all agree is now the best shirt in the entire game. If you disagree, take it up with Gracie. Number two, seasonal events. Now the Tomato Festival isn't the only seasonal event taking place in August because three other events are returning this year, including the Cowboy Festival, Cowherd and Weaver Girl Day, and of course, Obon. Cowboy Festival adds the Rodeo Star Springy Ride On and continues to be available from July through to August 15th. Cowherd and Weaver Girl Day adds the Orohime and Hikoboshi outfits, and unlike last year, is now celebrated from July 26th through to August 4th. This is one of a handful of events that changes its dates every year. After launch it ran for the entire month of August, last year it was available from August 5th to August 16th and this year it begins in July. Finally the Bon Festival or Obon as the cucumber horse and the eggplant cow that can be celebrated from August 10th through to August 16th. This seasonal event remains the same. Number three, events. August is of course the month of the traditional fireworks show or festival in all Animal Crossing games. Animal Crossing New Horizons is no exception and the fireworks show returns this year. The fireworks show takes place every Sunday with villagers and special characters gathering at the plaza during the day and the actual show running from 7 p.m. through to midnight. During this event, several limited items are available including boppers from Isabel, special clothing items from the Able Sisters and of course a bunch of fun and interactive raffle prizes from red oh and a bin so you can throw things away easily you can chat with villagers design custom fireworks or simply enjoy the show it's a pretty special event and this year takes place four times Number four, Bug Off. With August being the final month of summer, we can of course look forward to the third summer Bug Off that takes place on the fourth Saturday of the month. On August 27th, Flick will stop by the plaza to host the tourney and challenge you to catch as many bugs as possible. This is a great opportunity to earn one of three Bug Off trophies, as well as some limited time items you may have missed from previous contests, including the Bug Cage and the Bug Wand. Unfortunately, with it being a summer event, players in the Southern Hemisphere have to wait until November November for their third contest of the year or the first contest of their next wave of bug offs. Number five, seasonal materials. So with it being summer in the Northern Hemisphere and running all the way up to August 31st, players in the Northern Hemisphere see no change in the seasonal materials that can be encountered on the island. Summer shells will continue to spawn alongside their corresponding DIY recipes until the end of the month and season. However, winter comes to an end on August 24th for players in the Southern Hemisphere, so you will see a transition from winter to spring towards the end of the month. This means snowflakes will stop spawning and young spring bamboo can be encountered from August 25th. Number six, island aesthetics. Now, we always like to look at some of these smaller details and changes we can expect to see, including bushes and clouds. However, there isn't really any changes for those in the Northern Hemisphere. Pink and white plumeria bushes and red and yellow hibiscus bushes both continue to flower through to September. Furthermore, we can continue to encounter rainbows and cumulonimbus clouds for the rest of the month. Similarly, for players in the Southern Hemisphere, red and pink camellia bushes continue to flower through to September, and billow clouds can still be encountered until the end of August. August. However, August is the last chance for players in the Southern Hemisphere to encounter auroras for a while as they stop spawning at the end of winter and from August 25th, rainbows can be seen instead. Also, heavy fog that on rare occasions covers the entire island can no longer be encountered when spring begins. 
Number seven, critters. Now, it won't be much of an update and changes video without mentioning critters. As you'd expect with any change in month, players across both hemispheres can encounter new bugs, fish, and deep sea creatures. Naturally, with it being summer in the northern hemisphere, we encountered the most with a total of seven new critters spawning on the New Horizons Island. These include the migratory locust, the moray eel, and the flatworm, to name a few. Players in the southern hemisphere don't have to worry too much, as it is, of course, winter, and only one lonely critter will be joining their islands, which is of course the tiger beetle. Depending on when you started your New Horizons journey, this is a great time to collect the last few critters you may need for the museum. As always, it's been a lot of fun running through all of these updates and changes for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Don't forget to let us know what you think of the awesome Tomato Festival tea, and if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment tomato just to let me know you did. As always, thank you so much to all the patrons and channel members for supporting this content, and I'll see you in the next one.